What's up YouTube? I'm here to do my predictions for UFC Fight Night Mir vs. Duffy. Let's start at the bottom. First fight is Andrew Craig vs. Lyman Good. For the people that don't know who Lyman Good is, he was the former Bellator welterweight champ. I think he's really good. I think that um, he didn't look great on Ultimate Fighter, but that's because it was a middleweight thing. And I think he's just a little undersized for middleweight. I think he's a perfect size welterweight. Andrew Craig is coming down for middleweight. Um, you know, he, Andrew Craig is decent. I, I won't say he's great at anything, but I'd say he isn't weak at anything either. Um, but I feel like Lyman Good's takedown defense and his karate is going to be the difference. So I'll pick Lyman Good by either decision or knockout. Next is Kevin Casey versus Ildemar Alcantara, and, you know, Kevin Casey's one of those guys, he could win almost any fight in the first round, but I feel like the longer this fight goes, the better chance Ildemar has, and I think his game, his overall game is good enough to survive the first, so I'm going to pick Ildemar. I say he'll probably either win by decision or TKO. Um, it depends on how good Casey is able to just kind of survive the second and third round, but, you know, like I said, I don't see him winning the first night to see him gassing and getting tired and not being able to do much in the second and third, so I got Ildemar. Next is Igor Arujo versus Sane Strickland, and this is basically striker versus grappler, except for I think Sane Strickland's just better, even if it went to the ground. I wouldn't say he's a better jiu-jitsu guy, but I think his overall grappling game is better in the sense that he, his ability to get up and all that. So I think Shane Strickland's just going to do the same thing like the last two fights. I think he's just able to stuff takedowns, and either he's going to win by knockout or decision. Next, we got Ronnie Aya versus Masanori Kanahara. And a lot of these fights are the same. It seems like really one-dimensional guys going up against guys that are kind of more well-rounded. And that's what Ronnie Aya is. He's basically just a jiu-jitsu guy, as where Masanori Kanahara, I think, is really well-rounded. And his striking is at least three levels higher than Ronnie Aya's, and I say... Just like the last couple of fights, he's probably going to win using better takedown defense and better striking. He's either going to win by decision or TKO. Next, we got Jessica Andrade versus uh, Sarah Morris. And this is the same as the last couple of fights, except for I feel like this is probably going to be more like Jessica Andrade is the more well-rounded fighter. And instead of using her striking, she's going to use her wrestling to take this fight to the ground and win by submission. I don't think Sarah Morris is going to be able to stop her from taking her down whenever she wants. So I'll pick Andrade, probably by guillotine or rear naked choke. Next, we got Sam Cecilia versus Yatin Meza. And this is the first fight that I've seen so far on this card where it's actually pretty even. I think wrestling-wise, Sam Cecilia is probably a little bit better of a wrestler, but overall grappling-wise, Meza's better. And then power striking-wise, I think Sam's got the better power striking, but Meza's got the overall technical advantage. So it's really kind of a pick em choose em fight, but I'm going to pick Cecilia. I think he wins by knockout just because Yakin Meza has been knocked out before. And um, I could definitely see Meza winning this. I think if he gets into the second round and wears on Cecilia, he could definitely win by submission. But I think Cecilia's going to win by first round KO. Next, we got Alan Joban versus Matt Dwyer. And this is two strikers, so once again, it's kind of just who you think is the better striker. I kind of want to go with Joe Bam, but I'm going to pick Dwyer. I think he's kind of been overlooked just because he didn't have a great start. But I think he's a really good striker, and all of his wins are by KO, and I think that that's something you got to watch out for. So I'm going to pick Dwyer. I'm going to say he wins by knockout, um, maybe second or third round. Next is Kevin Lee versus Jane Moontasserie. And I just see this being kind of a one-sided grappling match. I don't think James is going to be able to stop Kevin Lee from taking him down. And I think Kev even though James is probably the better striker, I think Kevin's going to be able to use his speed advantage to just negate that. So I think Kevin Lee's probably going to win by decision or submission just because his wrestling is just so much better than James is. Next we got Scott Jorgensen versus Manny Gambirian. And this is a fight between two guys. One guy is still kind of relevant versus a guy who's way past his prime. Manny Gambirian is still kind of relevant, in my opinion. You know, he's still gone, I think, 3-2 and two in his last five. And he's beaten decent people. You know, he beat Cody Gibson. He beat um, Cole Miller. And he beat um, Omegawa. And then his losses were the top 15 guys, too, I think. He lost to, like, Nick Lentz and Dennis Seaver. As were Scott Jorgensen, you know. And those fights were decision losses. Scott Jorgensen's gone 1-4 in his last five. 
And even though Scott fought all top 15 guys, all of his losses were submission losses, and his one win was against a guy who was 0-3 in the UFC now. So I think that just kind of shows where they're at in their career. I feel like Manny Gambirian is still decent, as where Scott Jorgensen has kind of passed his prime. So I'm going to pick Gambirian. I say he wins by submission, probably like a guillotine or a rear naked choke, probably in the first or second round. Next, we got Holly Holm versus Marin Renavu. And I think this is going to be like Holly Holm's last fight. I say she just uses her better striking um, and her good takedown defense to just keep this on the feet and win by decision. This fight, kind of point-wise, she's just going to be able to hit her whenever she wants, move around whenever she wants, and just keep the fight standing and beat her up the whole time. I don't expect it to be very exciting. I just expect her to win. Next is Josh Thompson versus Tony Ferguson. And I think that this is kind of two guys who have really similar styles, but I think Josh has got a pretty big experience advantage. And I think Tony leaves himself open for stuff because he's a little too aggressive. And I think Josh is going to catch him in a submission. Um, I think this could probably be the fight of the night. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I feel like Tony's going to leave himself open for something sooner or later, and Josh is going to grab something, like an arm, like a Kimura or a knee bar or something, something weird that's going to happen, like a transition, you know? So I'm going to pick Josh Thompson to win by submission. And finally, we've got Frank Mir versus Todd Duffy. And this depends on both their guys' just striking. I feel like Todd Duffy kind of swings wide, and if Frank Mir works really hard, on his counter punching, I definitely could see Frank Mir winning by a KO with like a counter punch. But that's if he can do it. Todd Duffy is going to be moving in on him the whole time. And even if Todd Duffy doesn't land super clean, I think he could knock Frank Mir out. Um, so I think it's one of those fights. I think it's probably going to end in the first round. I think whoever wins is going to be the guy who does what they want first. Either Duffy's going to just win by knockout really fast or. Frank Mir is going to be able to see the punches coming and win with like a counter punch. I'm going to pick Mir, but I like I said, th this is one of those heavyweight fights where I feel like it's not getting out of the first round, and it's just whoever does what they need to do first. I'm going to pick Mir, but this is probably the closest fight I've seen in a while. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe.